There was a time when you can go to an urban museum for the price of a New York City subway token, where you could see masterpieces on a 60 foot long, 12 foot high metallic canvas claimed by the artists who were bold enough to enter the train yards and tunnels that were electrified by the third rail. you get an opportunity to see people paint the train ever it's very rare you see people paint the train even back in the day so it's even more rare today it was the heights washington heights and brooklyn first became part of this culture then the bronx took on the demeanor and we brought something different to the table which were called masterpieces. Neither me or Faze was the first to do a masterpiece. It was super cool. He found the spray can, he did an outline, he went around it twice, put some stars in it, and that was the first masterpiece. Within the graffiti culture, uh, burners, which you see right here. Other artists couldn't even claim their own space on these larger-than-life canvases. In a time when the city was broke and crime was at an all-time high, these virtuosos were products of their environment. They defied the odds to represent who they were and where they were from. They expressed their feelings and visions so millions could see their rolling canvases. No one could stop them, neither the transit workers nor the police. After 30 years of trying to eradicate the art form from subways, we've been invited back to paint our trains. So it's a, it's a good time. 